in the me memory of the Ukrainian Heavenly Hundred. Rockwares presents Crimes and Punishments, Sherlock Holmes. Starring Sherlock Holmes? Sherlock Holmes. And Dr. John Watson, Inspector Estrad, Mrs. Hudson, Mycroft Holmes, Wiggins, and the BSI. Uh, BSI. What are the BSI again? Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded. Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Thinking handcuffs. Policeman. And step avoided. Inspector Lestrade. Oh, okay. So Lestrade's coming. Also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. Wow. Of your money. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I help you? Telescope, examine. How? Left click, left click. Yeah, we should stop examining right now. <laughs> Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. Mr. Holmes. Come on. Where is he? There is he. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. Holmes. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Anything unusual that night? Uh... When was the body found, actually? Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at, at around 7 o'clock, I noticed the cabin door was open. But I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around 10 o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and over there. Uh, yeah, anything Adam, unusual. Can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Evening before the murder? Uh, sure, sure, sure. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Are we sure it's murder? Because, you know, uh, first impression of Peter, it could just be like alcohol poisoning or something. I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. He lived quite an isolated life here after his retirement. His retirement as a sailor. Oh, what? Wait, what? A backwards, D forwards. Ooh, what size? Uh, that's a birdhouse. Cool. And gloves, gardening gloves, okay. They look really fancy for gardening gloves. Uh, book. Uh, crested tit, of course. That's the kind of bird I'm talking about, okay? He's religious. Oh, so those are the uh, those is, are the things that we need to find. Okay, wow. 
Yeah, now I know uh, how this how this uh, will work. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy, but he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? How does he know about that? Uh, Q. Uh. Yes. Choose the evidence that confronts the statement of a character in order to conge profile of the what? I don't know. <laughs> what? Uh, with an uneasy left to run. Uh, she's a very religious Christian Catholic woman who undertook uh, a such. So she did a pilgrimage uh, when she was young, but not. I don't know if it's from. What did he say? Plym uh, Plymouth, yeah. Pilgrimage, you perhaps? You took a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. Really? I believe that you met Peter... Wait, Kim how am I supposed to know this? ...and you married him soon afterwards. Oh. It is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Thank you, madam. Do you have Mr. anything Holmes? to say? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Okay. The door Good. is locked. The door is locked. Right the moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday. To ensure yesterday. That no should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me Mr. see. Mr. Holmes? Yeah, let me see. Sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, what? Somebody tried to, like, get in. A, a door. Wow. Door lock, yes. Uh, I see those scratches here, but... Like, can I do something? I'm clicking like wild, but nothing's happening. Door lock. Yeah, there are scratches. These scratches ah. are fresh. Now it worked. Okay, right. the controls are Someone a bit tried to force strange. Open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Our mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. Perhaps he used the gardening tool which you found here. Um. Well, is the body still? Whoa! Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. What a terrible! What the hell? Okay. <laughs> what? I didn't expect him to just like. Be impaled into the wall. What the hell? Shelf. Cool. The sperm whale tooth. The sperm whale. Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Okay. Uh, do we have something? Shelf. <gasps> Suspiciously empty space outline in dust. Okay. Not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book. Box or small chest, perhaps. And now let's look at the dead uh, at the pool of blood, of course. The notebook. J H N are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Most likely. Can I open it? Hello. Okay. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor. Right to the crime, time, but it was dropped into the pool of blood. into the what? pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. Ah, okay. Open. What could that be? Well, I guess mean something. not phone numbers, right? 
Okay, and then there's a uh, sea knife. This wooden handle is plain and solid. You know, instead of a regular regular knife. Wooden handle, plain and solid. Uh, okay. Great. What's B? Boat. Wait, what? No broke. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, I'm doing. I will do this. You haven't made the deduction yet. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I need more evidence. I'm pretty sure I need more evidence. This ah, the blade, yes. The pool underneath the dead body. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife. But he did not succeed. Now to the body itself. Peter Carey it was killed by a harpoon. By a whaling harpoon. But it looks like it's wrong side around, isn't it? Oh no, this is okay. Peter Carey he was fully dressed. Fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. Yeah, it was his drinking buddy or something. There are pictures on the wall. I might have to look at those later. Uh, this man is in his fifties, yet he still looks quite strong. Yes. Can I pierce the chest? Oh yeah, of course. The, body. the force of the blow was immense. Yeah, it really looks like it, that. Let's make an ambush. Well, Mr. Holmes, what do you think? Now I think that we are lucky. And are why we? Is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oh. You've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they knife failed. blade, okay. What will they do? Why return tonight when they will be better prepared? Aha. So what do you propose? Okay, at this point it's obvious. <laughs> outside near the window where we stand the best chance oh, Jesus. of sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. Oh, can I shoot on someone? We will try to find... Uh, try to look if the murderer will... Re or the person who tried to break in will... Come back. Yeah, you can't see shit through there. Well... Did you hear that? What the be so loud. There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. I'll be right behind you. Oh, right uh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right behind you. I'm just gonna. Mr. Holmes. Nothing else Mr. to say? Holmes. Mr. Holmes. All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? These are the suspects. Right off the bat, he has a wedding ring. And there's something engraved. Uh, from our Dawson to my friend and partner, 1883. Our Dawson, okay. From R. Dawson. And partner, 8083. Dawson, I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. Okay, so we need to get back to the uh, to Baker Street later and look at the archives. With the initials J H M. And a pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. And the notebook again. Peter Carey's cabin floor. These abbreviations mean something. But what? Yeah, we can't tell right now. Okay, no, that's a fixed camera. <laughs> I thought that we... This is such a strange perspective because we approach him from this side. Notebook, notebook. Does this notebook belong to you? And what the hell does but the stuff where mean? Where did you find it? I where it's know. written. I, I thought I'd lost uh, it at the hotel. That's written in there. What do these abbreviations mean? Yeah, that's what I want no, to say. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Madigan. 
Is it some kind of um some kind of code? I think you know I watched uh the whole BBC series of Sherlock, the new uh where it plays like in uh modern London and there's one episode where they have like a code. Maybe it's and they're like dealers I think what 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 kind of dealers? I think like Ah, I don't know what. The Sinai was found like, near Carrie's body. Or, Tell me, Mr. Milligan, like, did no, Mr. Carrie try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. I need to look at the translation. Smuggler. Smuggler. English. Smuggler. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Smuggler. Uh, they smuggled, like, uh, expensive jewelry and vases and s vases and stuff, I think. Gold ring. He seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It, it has always belonged to me. Uh, I guess you can tell me then who's... Uh, what? Rings engraving. Yeah, tell me about the it. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. Yeah, only from a predator, right? Oh, sorry. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. Come on. It isn't... Uh, well, what does the well kept garden have to do with it? Uh, that was wrong. Select the correct answer. Wow. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. It isn't. Browse evidence. What do we have? Uh, heavy gold ring with the yeah okay. Da -da -da. Expensive but worn an ill-fitting jacket that I've purchased to someone else. Most most likely his father. Or well, maybe it's no, from his father. Elegan, I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. And now you it's know? yours. So the he actually didn't lie. Is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Most probably, your father. your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. <laughs> I'm so okay. Speechless, Mr. Holmes. I wouldn't have thought that. It all happened exactly as you say. So his father died, or did he like well, just? I will see you soon, young man. Uh, disappear. Okay. Um. So what we need to do is we need to check the ship logs at Woodman's Lee, but we also need to go back to Baker Street, I guess. Uh, to find Doctor Watson. And use him as an experiment for this harpoon. I hope we're not gonna kill him. <laughs> Continue. Watson. Where is he? There he is. Oh, uh -huh. I didn't even know they had a dog. Toby. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. What? I didn't. I never uh, read this in the books. Okay. Watson, can I impale you Response with a harpoon, wailing, please? Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No. But we no. <laughs> what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something, something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible. But if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, 
What is the animal closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. Hey. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You uh -huh. have <laughs> once before on the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pigs' throats? Oh God, no. No. Thank goodness for that. He wants to impale them. One with a harpoon. <laughs> Wonderful. Watson, let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. Uh, okay. So we need to do a little shit right now. Um, I'm first gonna go to Woodman's Lee, get a harpoon, and oh, that's the map. London and the surrounding area. It could be useful. Uh oh, <laughs> uh, Woodman's Lee for the ship locks and the harpoons, and then we go to this butcher, I guess. Okay, here we are. Um, we're one hour in. I'm gonna uh, do some more and then we will change the game. God, what the hell? <laughs> Can we inspect something here? No. Hello. Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What, what do you intend, to, intend do? to do? To indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment? Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced in this exercise. Yet. Let's go, boy. Aim for the mark in order to perform the most reliable task. Uh, let's aim for the mark, then. Whoa, what? <laughs> okay, that's a strange control. Now! Uh, now! What? No! Are you kidding me? Bloody game cra- Oh my god, no. Oh, please say it. Oh, please say it's safe. Oh god, please say it. Please say it saved. Please say it saved. It must have saved. Come on. Please. Oh yeah, continue. Stand as height. Holmes, you should aim for the mark. I know. It's good. I will do. Shoot. What the hell? Do I have to try again? Oh! Oh wow! Okay! I didn't expect that. This is the best possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical luck. Mr. Hope. Mr. Hope. Mr. Hope. Mr. Hope. Mr. Hope. Mr. Hope.